As the dangerous heat sticks around for the next few days, emergency rooms are getting ready to see more patients coming in for those heat-related problems. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eliza Krasinski joins us now live in Farmington with what doctors are saying. Eliza. Hi, Stephanie. Well, it does feel quite nice out right now, but it definitely was a hot one earlier today here at the Farmington River Trail. Bikers and hikers made the smart decision to come out a little later in the afternoon. However, during this heat wave, hospitals are bracing for an influx of patients. That was extremely hot today. It doesn't take much to overdo it in the sun. 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. are the danger times. So go out in the morning or the evening to get your errands and exercise done. And that's exactly what Leszek Vrona did today. He managed to squeeze in an hour-long bike ride. Did you choose to come a little later in the day? Yes, because the heat, I came here around 7. And he came prepared. Oh, what's in your backpack? In water. Yeah. That's what we need. As the temperatures rise, Hartford Hospital emergency medicine physician, Dr. Cynthia Price, tells me the ER is prepped and ready. We've got a lot of cooling baths prepared, ice in body bags already prepared. Signs of heat-related illness start with you feeling hot and heat cramps. And as things progress, you could feel dizzy, lethargic, nauseous, and can start vomiting. Once you get to the point where you stop sweating and your consciousness is altered, meaning you're kind of going out and you're not just coming back like a quick faint. Those are people that need to be in the hospital. Age plays a huge factor. Younger kids and older folks tend to be more sensitive to the heat. As you age, your skin gets thinner and medications can also play a role as well. So make sure you and the kids stay hydrated. Once your kid gets to the point where they say, mommy, I don't feel well and they start vomiting, vomiting is probably when you should start getting concerned. And you can dial 211 for information on cooling centers or just to find a safe place to get out of this heat. Again, that is 211. We have information on all the lists of cooling centers over on the Channel 3 app. Live in Farmington, Eliza Krasinski, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.